So hello everybody, it's Shelby Daddy 7 here and today we're going to get into ranking all my Pat McGrath palettes. I just got done ranking all my Dominique Cosmetics palettes um, and I want to do something that I felt like would be a little bit more challenging because when it comes to Kirsten's line with all the palettes I tried from her, I already know which ones I like best and which ones I um, would put in what order because I actually keep them in my drawer stacked that way as weird as it is so that way you know, I can grab according to which ones I know I like the best, so I know they'll be at the top and the other ones will be at the bottom. But with Pat McGrath, I just have them spread out all around according to the way they fit in the drawer, so I figured it'd be a little bit more challenging for me to have to go in and, like, grab all of them out and sit them out and then decide, like, which one is going to be best. But anyway, let's get started. So I have nine Pat McGrath palettes. I have three motherships. I have three of the smaller ones. I have the two, two of the three um, special shade quads, and then I have one of the... Um, I Ecstasy Subversive um, palette. So I'm going to start off with the oh, what? I Ecstasy Subversive palette. This is number nine for me. This one has some of the shades that were in um, the, what is that palette? In the um, Decadence palette that I so desperately wanted to get when it first came out. I meant to get it and then I ended up not getting it for whatever reason. And then I missed out on the Star Wars one. So I um, just settled and got this because at the end of the day, I really wanted like the blue and like the purple, like some of the other shades in it were okay, but this works for me just fine. The only thing about this and the Decadence palette would have still been at the bottom as well because it's like all shimmer palette and you still need to go and grab mattes. I can grab mattes from the um, this yard dark matte palette, so that's not that big an issue. But the fact that this is all shimmers and, you know, all her other palettes have mattes in it is basically why it's at the bottom for me. So this is number nine. Okay, now number eight is going to be the bronze temptation palette yeah so the reason this is number eight for me is because the shimmers in it um i was not that big a fan of well let me phrase it it's the one shimmer that shifts like this one right here it's red on camera but when you shift it as you can see it changes a different color i didn't like the fact that it changed colors because i honestly just wanted it to be red so when i went and put it on my lid and it changed colors i was not feeling it, it was not a vibe and i was upset about that so that's the only reason this one is number eight for me because it's like i actually wanted a red shade this is a holiday palette they came out with so i wanted it to be you know like red and green i look i could do for you guys with this palette if you're high end and want to do high end as opposed to like more drugstore or like medium brands as opposed to luxury more like high end or something like that so i didn't like the fact that that color changed so that's why it's number eight for me because otherwise the palette's fine itself but this is the more neutral palette too so that's another reason i wasn't that excited about it so that's why it's number eight <laughs> Number seven is going to be the Ritualistic Rose Quad just because I like the Nocturnal Nirvana one better. And I feel like the special shades in the um, Divine Rose palette are better than the shades in this quad right here. Let me open it up so you all can see just in case you didn't watch my video on it. Although a lot of people watch the video on this. I feel like when I do Pat McGrath's videos, like everybody comes out the woodwork and surprising them. I'm just like, oh, thank you. <laughs> so I'm, am I known as the Pat McGrath lady? I don't know, but this is... Um, what it looks like in here and i just feel like the special shades in here aren't as that great as they are in the palette i like this one right here a lot and i like this one right here but y'all know i'm not really big on gold so this gold i don't really care about and then this brown is just like whatever it's just a bronzy brown tone so that's why it's lower on the list for me because it's like i have other stuff i like better and i just was like i'd rather just use those so Put that to the side. Okay, so what is number let me see, seven going to be? Hmm, let's get a little difficult here. Um, number seven, I guess we will make be the Dark Star palette. As y'all know, this palette is everything. It's wonderful. It's a cool tone blue lover's dream. The only issue I have is like the two golds. Like why are there two golds? Like why do I need this gold and this gold? I'd rather had no golds in here to be perfectly honest. Like I'd rather they uh, gave me like a lighter like sky blue and then um I don't know maybe like a super dark chocolate brown or something. I'd rather had those than have like um these two gold shades so that's what kind of like makes me not use this palette that often i don't like the fact that it has these gold shades like i'm not a big eye gold eyeshadow wearer so the fact that they're in there is kind of like disappointing to me so that's why this one is um what what did i say number um seven wait no six it's six right yeah six sorry so we're down to the top five now um 
this is getting <laughs> more and more difficult by you know the minute um so number five is going to be the Lavin rose palette um let me open one up so i really 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 love this color story my only issue is the purple is really hard to deal with it's supposed to be a shimmery um it's supposed to be considered a matte as weird as that is but i find it kind of difficult to blend considering it's supposed to be a matte so um that's why i'm kind of just like mm. and it's not like i use this one as often as i use some of the other ones but it's a really pretty palette and i'm so happy that she did some purples and pinks as opposed to you know um a lot of the browns and um golds that she normally likes to do so that's why this one's a little higher for me too just because i was excited about that but yeah this palette is um wonderful and it is number five okay four so uh i know a lot of people made this number one for themselves but for me it's going to be number four and that would be the bronze seduction palette so let me go ahead and open her up even though I figure you've seen her everywhere because this was the one palette that everybody was truly obsessed with with the Campy Pat McGrath and won an Allure Award and everything because people really like warm tones. As you all know, I'm more of a cool tone girl, so that's why it's lower on the list for me. I prefer cool tones over warm tones. But don't get me wrong, this palette is absolutely stunning, amazing, wonderful. Like, I love this plummy looking shade right here. I love the red, and of course, I love this greenish blue shifting situation along with this color right here. So, special shades in here I really like and the mattes are really nice too so it's an overall really nice palette like if i had to have a warm tone palette of high end this would definitely be it i.e i do have it so <laughs> clearly i like it just fine but um yeah this palette is beautiful wonderful amazing i just prefer cool tones which is why it is number four for me okay let's see so let's get to number three Number three is um, another one that's really popular. It's the Divine Rose Palette. Now, this one actually just restocked um, yesterday at 9 a.m., but I'm pretty sure it's sold out by the time this video is going to go out. And it's probably sold out even though I'm just filming it today and it just came out yesterday. But um, this is a gorgeous palette. Um, I think the color story of this is, oh God, mine is child, mine is dirty. That's how you know I used it. Look at that. Look at the dirty side there. I had to blow some away so I wouldn't be as embarrassed. But yeah, this palette is gorgeous. But I like the special shades in here better. Like this dual chromey pinky peach orange situation. Look at that. It looks orange there. But like when I turn it up, it looks pink. Like that is gorgeous. And then this one, it has a nice little iridescent pinky shifty dual chrome situation going on here. And then there's um this one right here. These palettes just are absolutely wonderful this palette is amazing and gorgeous and i love it um it's more of one of those neutral mauve tones like this those are my type of neutrals when i go for a neutral eye it would be something like this divine rose palette but at the same time the other two palettes i just like a little bit more now since i don't have every single pat mcgrath palette i figured it would be exciting for me to do it this way too because you know you don't know which motherships i have and which motherships i don't have and then you're gonna find out which ones um i have and, and all that good stuff but my number two palette is the um what is this one called so this mothership one subliminal so this was the first mother the first of the first five mothership palettes she came out with or the sorry the first I think she's first four she came out with and as soon as i saw this palette i was like i need that palette i was like my birthday's coming my birthday comes in as a forest sale every year thank god i was like i need that hat so when he came this was before i started going on vacations for my birthday every year i would buy like a high-end palette so this was my first like high-end super expensive palette i bought and it is the mothership one and y'all know what drew me to this palette the fact that it's cool tone and then there's like a blue and then there's a purple oh my god like i this palette is everything like this is a cool lover's dream if you're a high-end makeup whore who likes cool tones i feel like you just need to have the mothership one in your collection it is beautiful and amazing and you need to own it so it is number two for me and what i love to pair this with besides the dark star palette 
is number one, the nocturnal Nirvana religious Richard, not Jesus, Nocturnal Nirvana. I don't have to say ritualistic roles. I don't know why I was trying to. Um, but yeah, so this palette I think is just amazing. I feel like this is great to go with any palette of mattes that you have that you want to add a unique color to. Like if you have some cheaper um, eyeshadows, like as far as mattes go, and you just want to have an extra pop and look super extra nice, and this is, and you can't necessarily afford to buy one of her bigger palettes, I would definitely say run out and get this. Like, get you some nice simple color pop mattes, and like put this on the lid, and everybody will think you look like a million bucks. Cause color pop mattes are amazing, and you can have a nice little ex like somewhat expensive Pat McGrath quad. Wait till this goes on sale, and then get that. And girl, you got all the basic colors. You got your blue, you got your green. Got your purple even though this shifts to like a different color like i think it shifts to like purple or something like that when you um hold it up but yeah this this quad is just amazing i would pair this with my um sub subliminal palette or my dark star palette and feel like this would be amazing i would put it with the um I might put it with the um Levian Rose as well. I don't know. I just feel like it's a wonderful, amazing quad. That is like, this is one of my all-time favorite Pat McGrath things that she has come out with. I absolutely love this. I'm hoping she comes out with more of them for Christmas next year as opposed to like the little palettes. I mean, she can come out with some little palettes too, but um, come out with more of these, mother. I need them. I want them. I absolutely love them. So that completes my ranking of all my pat mcgrath eyeshadow palettes so let me know what you thought down below were you expecting certain things to be where they were or were you expecting things to go differently or tell me what your thoughts are on all my pat mcgrath palettes and which ones do you think i'm missing i should get because i was thinking about getting the 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 bigger one that matches this palette because i saw um kelsey brianna J talking about it and some other people talking about it and it looks like it might be actually pretty nice but at the same time i'm like i have the little one so do i really need the big one too i don't know if i catch it at a good deal i might but let me know if you think i'm missing some stuff from my pat mcgrath collection that i need or what your thoughts were about this video but i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all are diamonds let me know if you want me to do Natasha Denona too. Now, mind you, I don't have nearly as many Natasha Denona palettes as I do Pat McGrath. Like, I think I only have four or five Natasha Denona palettes. As a matter of fact, I think I only have four. Yeah, I have four because I only have the Love palette, the Sunrise palette, the Gold palette, and the Lila palette. So, that wouldn't be too exciting of a video. But, I mean, if y'all want me to do it, I'll do it. Let me know down below. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are dimes. I hope it helped you decide if you want to buy anything for Pat McGrath. And if so, what you would buy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, you all are dimes. Bye.